Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 7 and or Windows 8 just by drag and drop. Very easy. So let's begin. For this, we're going to need this app, win to bootic The link is in the description box below. We're also going to need a Windows 8 or Windows 7 ISO. I'm using Windows 8 because it's a free download. The link is also in the description box. And a USB pen drive, 4 gigs or higher. Now with that in mind, we can go ahead and run the win to Bootic app. This doesn't install on your computer, it runs from its location. This program will automatically detect your USB pen drive. If it doesn't, you can always click on the drop down and select it. Now just drag and drop the ISO onto that little square, check mark quick format, and then click on do it. Are you sure? Okay. Now here make sure you have no important data or no data at all on your flash drive because this will erase your um, USB pen drive. I'm going to fast forward this but I'm going to leave it here so you can see the process. Perfect. It's done. Click on thanks and then X out of there. Okay, perfect. Now let's put this to the test like I usually do. So I have my mini laptop here. This is my USB pen drive. I'm going to turn my PC on and stay here until it asks me to press F2 to enter the setup which is the BIOS and I'm here I'm going to select the uh, boot tab and make sure that my first boot device is the flash drive just by following the instructions on the right pane once I have my um, flash drive to be the first boot device, press F10 and enter to exit, to save and exit. And now it will boot from my USB pen drive. Perfect. Very easy, very fast. I'm going to go ahead and finish the installation of Windows 8 because I don't like to leave videos kind of halfway. So from here select your language, time and keyboard and then click on next. Click on install now. Then input the uh, product key and click on next. Accept the license terms and agreement and click on next here click on custom install now on this machine I have uh, Windows 7 already installed so it looks like this drive 0 partition 1 drive 0 partition 2 now on some computers you you might see a recovery partition so don't delete the recovery partition click on drive option advanced select drive 0 partition 2 then click on delete OK to confirm. Drive 0 partition 1, select it, click on delete, confirm, and that's it. Now, if you don't have an operating system installed, your system is going to look like this. Remember, if you do have the recovery partition, do not delete it. You never know, you might use it in the, f in the future. Select the drive and then click on next, and the installation process will begin. Now, when the computer reboots and it asks to um, press any key to boot from the CD or DVD, do not press any key. From here, just let it run. Now, from here on, it's self-explanatory. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.